Hello, you lovely lot. It's Gran here with another episode of Vintage Story on the Rusty Gear server. Now then, I was well chuffed with how this came out. And now I want to put some furniture in. And I'm going to be using mostly the Vintage Story pieces, but I might need to do one of my own pieces to put in there. I quite like one of the images of Rivendell with some furniture all around pillars. Uh, that looks like it's maybe a place to study or to be creative and I want to create that environment here so we'll see what we can do but first is a few little jobbies I need to do before I go on to that so first I want to replace these white chalk blocks up here I want to chisel in some of the kapok so let's just put these on here and I'm just hoping that the grain is going to go the right way. Will it or won't it? We shall see. Right. Uh, I don't want to... Let me just chisel... Let me just put one of these in here to chisel. There we go. And I don't want to use the biggest one. I think we'll use... Let's use this one. Aha. Uh -huh, I thought the grain would go... I'm hoping I can swizzle it round actually and that won't affect what's underneath it. So let me just do this and there we go. Oh, there we go. And then I want to give it a twizzle. There we go. Okay, that's good. And it shouldn't have affected anything underneath, I don't think, because there's a layer of blocks underneath it. So that's all right. So uh, I need my pantograph now. Right, which one was it? Haha, <laughs> it would have been uh, this one. Let me just take a snapshot of that. And I want that to do in there. Oh, I would have thought the grain would have been going the right way because I rotated it. So, did I miss it on there? Or let's just do another one. And have a look and see what it turns out. Yeah, that's odd, isn't it? I thought that would have been rotated if I'd done it with a pantograph. It's an odd thing, this grain thing. I've always had trouble with that. Anyway, I'll get these done. Right, that's one little jobby done. No sign of downstairs up here now. That's good. And that hasn't changed anything about this underneath bit here. So that's all good. Now the next thing I need to do is to adjust this set of wall panels on this side. Because since I did the floor, the central panel seems out of place. And the k -pop pillars don't make sense with the pattern on the floor. So I need to take these extra sections off each side of this window and then I can move it up. I'll have to move some of these pillars as well and it's a bit of a pain because everything keeps falling over the edge and I have to keep going and retrieving it. But hey ho, if I'd have made plans right from the beginning I wouldn't have to be doing this now and I still will have a little extra section at the edge that really won't make sense but I can't do anything about it now so I need to move this up here so that should go in there and this one should just fit on top and now I've got that in I've got to shuffle all these up as well so it's not just a little job is this okay let's have a look I've just got these other two panels to shuffle up now So this will go from there to here and this goes a little bit further down and a little bit further over. And now that I've shuffled them all over I'm just going to have an end bit that is one block wide. I have no idea what I'm going to do with that at the moment. I'm just going to finish this off with one, one block wide panels in there for now. I think I might have to do a little bit of decoration in there. That looks a lot better though. Now I've shuffled them all over. Yeah, that was poor planning on my part, was that? But then I didn't know the floor was going to end up looking like this. And I didn't know I'd be doing a vaulted ceiling. So that's all developed as the builder's gone along. I'm not a great planner, you see. But then you've got to accept that some things might not turn out quite as well as you thought they would if you don't plan and measure and... You know, I don't like that there either. What am I going to do with that? Hmm. Well, I think it's just going to have to be an upright one. 
because I don't want that on this side of here. So let's just take that out and pop it in there. There we go. There we go. It shouldn't be, but it is. Right, well I've been off for a few days and now it's December. We're in another winter. And I always like to walk through here just to see if anything shouts out at me as needing my attention. A little bit of an adjustment, a little bit of an addition, or if something is too much in there. But nope, nothing does. And I'm quite happy with this section. I really don't want to change anything about it. And I did try your suggestion, Sev, about changing the light on the candlesticks to a sort of a yellowish colour but I could do it. I could not do it at all. So if anybody knows how I could do that please let me know. It's snowing as you can see. Oh look at that we've just got the snow coming through the windows that I made that's good but it's coming in here that's not good and I, I don't think in Rivendell it would be snowing would it? It would be a, a perfect temperature for the elves all the time so I'll have to think about that because they can't be creative in this section if they're being battered by snow all the time and hail and you know winds and stuff so i don't think we would get the snow in rippendale <laughs> i really don't look at this <laughs> it's gonna be a snow drift soon oh my goodness that is not good <laughs> right let's stop procrastinating and get some of this furniture out and some of the decorations on the furniture and see what we need to chisel. So I'm just gonna put a few pieces around and see how that ends up looking like. I think we'll have some of these on the tables and we'll need some tables to put them on. So I think these will suffice, uh, but where we're gonna put them. Maybe these little occasional tables, these little tables can go just in front of the pillars there we go. Right, can I put some on the other pillars as well? What have we got in here? I think I've got some more. Um, yeah, I think we can put the globe on one and then this on one. In fact, there's something that looks like that in um, an image of Rivendell that I saw, which is quite cool, I think. So I think I'll put that on there. There we go. And then, of course, this one will have to have one as well. Because we're coming in from this side, I think just these three pillars with these in front. I don't want to put them in front of all the, the pillars. I haven't got enough tables for that anyway. So, okay, let's put some more out. Put one here, I think. Put one here. Might put some storage here. Put one on the other side. want to put a few of these weapons around as well. There we go. These braziers I want just out here I think. I don't think these light up actually but they give you the impression you can keep warm anyway. I think I wanted to do a chisel piece now because I'm not getting the, a right good feel for this bit and, and I think I will do when I've got these pieces in. So I'm going to I'm going to put these in between the pillars and I'm going to put a few of these in. So I'm going to start here and these are going to be the workstations and I've seen one on an image from Rivendell and the, it's well I'm just calling it a workstation a place where you'll you maybe sit and write or draw. So that's what I'm trying to do here. So that's where that would go. So let me just let me just mess about with this and see what I can come up with. Too wide, I think. Take half this bit off and the other side. Oh, 
you know, I'm just going to have to get rid of this snow. I just can't do with it. It just, it's just annoying. Let me just find out what I'm supposed to press to get the accessibility tweaks up. Just a minute. Right, it's F8. Here we go. Weather effects. Uh, snowflakes. Let's turn those off. Uh, I'll leave the others on. Okay. Oh, it's already doing it, look. It's already doing it. Nice. See, in Rivendell we don't have snow. That's better. That's better. Right, let me get on with this. Now, I want to create a bit of a, a shelving bit on top. So, I'm going to do that from in here. So, this is going to be one whole unit and there's going to be two sides to it. That's what I've got in my head, anyway. So, let me just shave this off. Finish that off with the plane. So, I must remember that's on the bottom bit now. But I did that because I want to place something on top. So, let me see if I can just... Oh, I need me, um... Oh, I haven't got it. Here we are. I've got my wedge tool. Let me turn that around. Uh, it's that one. Mirror it. That's it. And same with this middle bit here. There we go. And middle. And wedge. Mirror. From the side. And then this last bit on this side. Put it on there and mirror that. There you go. Can you see where I'm going with it? Hmm. Okay, I need to do some chiselling down at the bottom here now. And I'm going to take as much out of, uh, of this bottom bit as I can. And I want some more supports on this bit here, I think. I've been chiselling away like mad under here now and I'm just trying to make this make sense from what I've done on the outside compared to how it is on the underside so hopefully uh, yeah quite like that I think I think I might leave that uh, lower panel in uh, I need to do more chiselling here okay I've just been chiselling this and I thought, oh, I could just transfer it from the other side. And I just need to mirror it now. And mm. sit. Oh. Uh, no. Let me undo that. Oh, I need to twizzle it from the front, don't I? Right, so I should be doing it from there. That's it. Oh, for goodness sake. It messes with my head sometimes trying to get these planes right. Now, I should be able to do this bottom bit as well. That one. Oh, got the wrong one. That one. And do that on there. And then I need to mirror it again. Which bit do I need to point to? Do it from the back, I think. Right, this one. That's it. There. Yeah, I quite like that. Hmm, I need to do the opposite side now. There we go. Nice. Do the top one as well. Here. And then mirror. There we go. And then that one. And mirror. There we go. Yeah, okay. That's coming on. Right, I'm going to have some chairs on here and I think I'll copy the style that I have downstairs because I really, really like those chairs. Yeah. Right, so let's go and have a look. And because I can rotate them, it doesn't really matter which I choose to do. And I might alter them a little bit. I don't think they need to be... Um, any particular colour for upstairs. In fact, they probably are going to be better plain, I think. So, I'll just take this off. And I don't think they need all the draping material on it either. Well, that's in my imagination what it is. 
So let's bring this over here and we'll just pantograph this on here. And this one. And that one. There we go. Should I leave that there? Is it near enough? Oh, hang on a minute. That's not... Uh, no, I need to twiddle these. Let me just rotate these round. Well, it's just the bottom one, isn't it? It's in the wrong orientation. There we go. That looks better. Right then, let me get this other chair done. There we go. I'll leave those there for now. Now then, I want a top part to this. It's not going to stay like that. So, I'm thinking it's going to be like... Well, it needs to be the right size, doesn't it? So I need to take these off. These end bits off. I'm going to take those off. Uh, this big one should do it, I think. And then I want a space in the middle where I can put things. Like that. I didn't think this through properly. I'm going to have to put another block on top to create the space in the centre for me to put things in. Because I did want to put things in it. So, and now I need some blocks on top and I should use the bottom layer of these top blocks to act as the top of this area. So let me put that on there and then we'll take that out because we don't need that. There we go. And then if I plane this down, I think, let me just uh, chisel that. Actually, it's probably easier just me doing that first. And might as well take these off, seeing as I've got it in my hand. And I don't want to use that again. I will take no, it's now I've got to use the plane, haven't I? So let's go down as thin as we can. And of course, I can't put anything on top now because this is the bottom of the top block. But I will be able to chisel things on top of it. So that'll be interesting. Not quite sure what yet, but... Right, so... Now I need... Um... Oh, I'd forgotten I'd got these in here. Let me take this back in because... Do I need to leave this out here, do I? I'll be dipping into it all the time. Need that out of there, though, so I can pick it up. And let's take this in here. Pop that in there, can't I? Here we go. So, I have a pile of books I think I'd like to put in there. Let's see what that looks like. Let's try... There? Yeah! Look at that! <laughs> and this space to put something down the side there, although I'd have to chisel it because that's part of the other block. Just trying to think where things can go. I could put a lot of stuff in here. I think I'd have to have a rummage through Sid's one man's trash, actually. And um, I think I want this a little bit closer, to be honest. Just looking at it. So I'm just going to whistle it over there. There we go. To give it a feel that it's been used, I think. That, that's what I want to get from this. That, that people have come and gone and what have you. So I'm liking the look of that. Yeah. I think that'd be a comfy place to do some work, to do some writing or something artistic. I don't like these on here. I think I might just nibble these off because I was thinking I'd leave them, but um, no, I just don't like them because they're a, a, a chair in a different place than downstairs. And I think I'm just going to take those off like that. Yeah. I like that better, I think. Oh, can I get to that? Yeah, get to that through there. I think it's quite cool how you can go through the spaces you've created by chiselling out blocks to chisel out other bits. I quite like that. Let's take this off here. I will keep looking at these chair legs as well, and I'm thinking that they ought to be a little bit sturdier. So I think I might add a little bit more to these chair legs. Let's just do that first and have a look. Yeah, I think that's better. That's a lot better. I like that. 
So what can I do with these chair legs? I wonder if I can add a bit on this side here, whether that would look up. In fact, I could add on both sides. Let's try that. So if I add a bit on there and then bring that up there and then do the same with this right to the top. Yeah. Yeah, I'm quite liking the look of that. It looks a bit more sturdy, you know, like it's going to last a bit longer. <laughs> Have I done that bit there? No, I needed that bit on there. Okay, let's just change that for the other chair as well. And pop that on there. Oh, I need to change it around, don't I? Let me just rotate that. There we go. Yeah, I like that better now. I want to, to give the impression that um, there was a piece of paper there being either drawn on or written on. I've also added a little bit of decoration on the side. Not a lot. I might take the lower one off, actually. I'm not quite liking that. But I just want to transfer this pattern at the top here. What have I got in there? Oh, just some um, ancient logs. So let me see. Right, so I should be able to copy this over to this side. There we go. And then, using my wedge tool... Uh, nope, that's my planer. That's my wedge. I love these tools. I really love them. Let's have a look. There we go. Yeah, I like it. Okay, I took that bottom bit off. And um, I'm trying to think of what else I could do with that to make it any better. And I don't think I can really. I don't think I want to. But I do want more of them. I think I'm going to have four of these stations in here. And now I've done that first one, I can just copy them across. So that's what I'm going to do now. That's another one done. I want to rotate that one, I think. I'll have it that way. There we go. That's another one done. Yeah, I think it looks quite good that as it's filling up. I quite like it. I'm trying to do each one a little bit differently and I'm just wondering if I could put a scroll um, rack in one. I should be able to, shouldn't I? Because that, that middle bit is like a free block. Or a, a space the size of a block, should I say. Let's get this out of here. And let's see if I can put the scroll rack in there. There. I can. I quite like that. Yeah, and that's quite cool. I quite like that. I'm trying to think what I could put by the side. And I think probably some little cases or something for pencils and paintbrushes and things. I can't do scrolls properly this small, so I'll have to leave that. There we go. That's the last one. Now, I've got four in here and I really, really like them. I think I might turn that to face the workstation. I don't know if that's what you would call it, but that's what comes to mind when I think of what people might do when they're sat here. Bit of decoration now. I want you to put some stuff on the decking as well, but 
Oh, no, that's not gone in the right place. I wanted that right in front, so I need to move this up a little bit. But I want more furniture out here as well, so let's uh, just move this up a, bit, a little bit. And I do like this decking area now that I've done the floor, but uh, what to put on in terms of furniture, that's the thing. There we go, and then this one over here. There we go, yeah. Yeah, I'll have to think about that. If you've got any suggestions, let me know in the comments and I shall try and accommodate that. But uh, I think for now, I want to leave this area alone until I've thought up some other stuff to do on here. And there's just a little jobby that I want to do following on from Punk's shenanigans down by the pond. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen his video recently but um, a link to his channel is in the description below go and have a look and see what he got up to around the pond but it's giving me an idea of something to something else to do by the pond so i'm going to go off and do that now right let's see if i can do this i'm thinking on warm days which wouldn't be now because it's minus four if people have been dipping in this pond they'll need something to dry off with now you might need a little bit of imagination when I've done this. I need this to come down the wall here now, so I'm, I've added another one of these blocks in the wall. Don't need this bit at the bottom. Let me take that off. And this needs to look like it's on the wall, really. Okay, I've done that bit. I want another bit over here. So I'm going to just rotate that. And then I want that a different colour. There we go. I think those look like sandals. Let me just get this bit off here. Doing some blue ones for this side here. And they'll just look like they're being kicked off there. They're not in any order. But yeah, that's what I wanted. A couple of towels, some sandals. Yeah. And <laughs> just look at that little board there. The punk's left. Oh my goodness. 1.4 days. They'll be ripe. Okay then. Lots of fruit coming to fruition now. It is March. And I've got to go and check my mailbox. Right, let's have a look. See what's been going on here. I haven't seen Sid on actually, so... I think we're sort of like at the tail end of the holidays and it's always hard to get things done. And I've thought of something for this and I really need to speak to Sid about it. I'm not telling you yet. Ah. Oh, I mustn't go over that way because Sid's been working on the castle and I don't want to reveal any spoilers. Right, let's go in the front door for a change. Oh, look, somebody's left my gate open so I think somebody's been here. Oh, look, it's up. Let's have a look. Somebody's left me something. Oh, I've got two. Nice. Oh, thank you. Right, let me take these with me. Uh, should I open them in here? I should really, shouldn't I? And then I can leave that here. Uh, right, I haven't opened a parcel in a while. And I'm just trying to think how I do it. Do I... Oh, no, that's my... Um, my chest let me put that down there anyway oh come on now let me concentrate there's a horse in my house oh my goodness me okay let me just um come out of that view and pop this on the floor there let me put this in there silly horse now can i shift and open that nope oh there 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 what is this meteoric guy in here you have know, some more arrows. Oh, nice. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> Those will come in very handy. Thank you very much for that, Sid. That wasn't what I was expecting. So that was very unexpected. Very welcome, but very unexpected. Now I've got this one. I'm thinking, do I? No. Do I? No. So shift and click. Eight digit. There should be two of the slabs, but the envelope might only be showing one enclosed. If so, try dragging out 
the blank space. So yeah, it digit sent me some, I think it's phyllite, and I'm going to find something to make out of that. Well, I'm right annoyed because I lost all my pies. I had a stack of pies in my inventory, and now they're not there, so I've had to make some more. I wasn't expecting to have to do that. Right, I've just come back for another look before I sign off for this episode. And yeah, it feels really good when you first come in, so I quite like that. I'm going to have, as I said, I'm going to have a rummage through Sid's shop, if he'll let me, and um, pick up a few more pieces of furniture. I think I'd like some scrolls in there. Um, so we'll see if we can find some racks, some scroll racks with scrolls in them. Like this over here. Those teapots were from Sid as well. As he's made a few porcelain ones. I quite like that up there. Yeah, look at that. I might put something on top of there. I'm not quite sure yet. And we've got some ink wells on there. That's plain paper. Nobody's worked on that station yet. And yeah, got another teapot there. I should really fill these have filled bottles on here, so I'll probably exchange those because I've only put empty ones on. So yeah, I quite uh, I'm quite liking that. I quite like the decking as well. I need some furniture to put on here, as I mentioned earlier, and so I'll have to think about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we're, 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 I've nearly finished this this building. I mean, this one building has taken so long. <laughs> what am I like? Uh, let's go around here. Oh my goodness. And then the next episode, I'm going to start working upstairs on the bedroom area. Look at this. I've put a little bag down there. And there's a parcel. Look, there's a parcel under there. So yeah, I'm going to call this an episode. So take care, everybody. And I'll see you in the next episode when I'll be working on the bedroom upstairs. Bye-bye.